Let's open up some packages. Uh, so I've been in Mexico for like three weeks and I got home to uh, some packages and I thought it would be cool to do like, I don't know if it's gonna be a weekly thing, I don't know if it's gonna be a monthly thing. I don't know, cause I'm not, you know, getting that many packages nowadays. Um, but I thought it'd be cool to open up some packages, pretty much is what I'm trying to say. This feels like very Casey Neistat to me, which is super weird because He's a huge inspiration to me and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so that would make sense. But yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna call it booze mail, but it's not always booze, so I don't know. We'll see what we call it. Um, but yeah, let's just open some stuff. If you are a brand and would like to send me stuff, your mezcal, your tequila, cocktail shakers, snacks, anything, uh, just email me. I'm gonna put my email down here and we'll talk and where you can send it and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, I'm gonna, this is from Range Native, which I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember. I'm gonna use my little French knife over here. Uh, I don't remember where this is from or any of that kind of stuff, so this is gonna be a surprise to me too. Um, let's see. So it's something small. Oh! Damn, that was fast. These are actually, I bought. Uh, so that's really cool. So if you guys know this guy on TikTok, uh, he talks a lot about the different woods. He's actually doing a series that he uses. He's doing the map of the US and he's using the, nat the official woods of every state to make this map and it's awesome. I love his content. I was actually super excited last week because he uh, followed me uh, and he makes these really cool incense. Uh, if you guys see it right there and like yeah, he makes the incense himself So he's I bought these because I you know, we found each other. I love what he does such an awesome account It's one of those feel-good accounts um, I'm gonna be honest. I don't remember if I bought two If I did awesome if I didn't thank you so much for sending me this and I'm gonna show his videos and link him right here as well I love incense and uh, Especially when it's like this. That's awesome. Heck yeah uh, so that was the first one. So let's open this one. Uh, shaker and spoon. I do. Rem I don't remember exactly what this is, uh, but I do remember talking to Shaker and Spoon. So thank you. Okay. Okay. This looks cool. Uh, don't forget to check the crinkles carefully for five small and light items banded together in two bundles. The orange oil, spice lemon oil, aromatic bitters medley, old fashioned bitters blend, and chocolate mullet bitters. That sounds really cool. Doubles training, strain twice, techniques, kind of like what you use to do the bitters. I'm guessing this is a bunch of bitters. Um, it looks like a cocktail kit. There's a lot of crinkles. Um, so we have a cinnamon demerara syrup. Looks really cool. Uh, we got a spiced mojito syrup. That also looks really cool. We got some limes. I'm sorry the limes are dry because again, I was in Mexico for like three weeks. So I don't know how long this uh, box was sitting, waiting for me. Damn, there's a lot of cool things. A uh, couple of different bitters and a sprayer right there. It's like a cocktail kit. Uh, once upon a coconut, uh, it's 100% juice, so I'm guessing this is non alcoholic. Thanks for this. Another dried lime, again, that's my bad. That's not on you, that's on me. Uh, this is a rose syrup, cool. And then we have another little bundle uh, of little sprayer bitters, like a little mist, that's pretty cool. Uh, we have a pink grapefruit, Fever tree, I love fever tree, and I love pink grapefruit. Um, another dried lemon, again, it's my bad. <laughs> uh, lots of crinkle, they said to be careful in the crinkle. So I'm just double checking to see if there's anything else here. It's a lot of crinkles, I'm gonna reuse these crinkles. Uh, I do host these, you know, cocktail classes and tequila classes and stuff like that. And I need crinkles to send the bottles out, so I know Appreciate all the crinkles. And on the box it says prep, check out the goods in your box, gather your booze, tools, and glassware, 
enjoy. Be sure to watch the how to do videos in the shakerspoon.com slash learn and impress everyone with your skills. And then share shaker and spoon and stuff like that. So shaker and spoon, thank you so much for sending this. I'm gonna check if anything else in here, but I don't think so. Uh, thanks for all the crinkles, honestly. Like, I'm gonna need that. Uh, let's open this one. This is from Jason. Uh, I'm not sure what we can expect from this one. Need to sharpen this knife a little bit more. Got some peanuts, some popcorn peanuts. You know that you can put these in like your sink and then it dissolves. So that's cool. Uh, ooh, oh my God, how did I not put two and two together? This is from Jason, I'm sure there's anything else in here. No. So this is from Jason, who I need to talk a little bit about him, is the guy behind this, the Bad Ombe Project. Uh, Jason is a huge fan of traditional, well-made, additive-free tequila like myself. But other than just making videos online and talking about it, he actually went and started to do some shit about it, and I love that. So this is a project he did with his son. He got some Siembra Valle tequila, and he aged it at his house. This project got so much traction that it got the attention of regular, traditional, well-made tequilas, like uh, Fortaleza, for example, right? And so they're aging single barrels for his project, Mission 1530, that helps with the Tequila Interchange Project. Tequila Interchange Project is a project put together by David Suro. He's the one behind Don Mateo, Mesonte, and other brands. Awesome guy. He also owns a tequilas restaurant in Philadelphia. So they put single barrel programs with the Mission 1530, where the proceeds are gonna go to the Tequila Interchange Project. And this is the first sample. This is the Fortaleza Reposado that's gonna drop sometime, I believe, leave this year so he sent me the first sample and I can't wait to try that thanks so much Jason I'm not gonna try it here because I actually want to do a video about this on my TikTok and my Instagram and all that if you guys are here from my Instagram and my TikTok thank you so much if you're here because you like happened upon it on a YouTube follow me on Instagram and TikTok I'm also gonna put the links right here can't wait to try that such such an awesome project so I appreciate uh, Jason I gotta get to Philly we gotta go to Mexico together too man um, all right, next one. This is from Chusa. Chusa? Chusa. Something like that. Gracias for choosing Chusa. We created Chusa to share our flavors, culture, and flair. I love that. Hope you get to enjoy them and have fun creating some spicy drinks or using Chusa as a add-on. Gracias, Danny. Thanks, Danny. Uh, oh, so it's some, some snacks. Uh, that's cool, spicy cranberries. We got some spicy pineapple and we got spicy mango. Uh, they're like dried fruits, I believe. Uh, whoa. Uh, yeah, none in the first show, contains real fruit. These looks exactly like what I would use on, you know, some spicy cocktails as garnishes. I'd probably also just eat this to be completely honest with you guys. Thanks, Chusa. Appreciate it. Put it right there. All right. Let's take these big boxes out of the way so I can... Uh, you guys can see me there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, this one is Seltzer's Revolution, so I think I know what this is. I'm gonna put this one down because this is a big box. This is Craft Tequila Seltzer, Seltzer, uh, Guava Spice. Oh man, there's a lot in here. Tamarino, another Tamarino, a Guava Spice, another Tamarino, Aloe Mint. That sounds interesting. Aloe Mint again, another one. Uh, another guava spice, uh, another guava spice, and another tamarino, and aloe mint. That's it. All right, 
Let's talk about, oh, just saw it. This is from NOM 1414. So if you know your NOMs, you know 1414, right? That's where Grando Vejo comes from. That's where Yeyo comes from, Siembra Valles. A lot of amazing tequilas coming from there. And I have heard that they, re, like they just built a separate section of the distillery where they're gonna do seltzers, which is, you know, they're ready to drink drinks are the thing now. So pretty awesome to see that there's a legit distillery getting behind these and maybe we'll start getting some really great ones. Maxi brand was created by an emboldened band that values authenticity, creativity, and quality above all. We've cut no corners in delivering you the best interpretation of the mysterious and exhilarating spirit of Mexico. 100% uh, agave silver tequila, num 1414. I want to try these. Um, I'm just going to try this one right now, even though it's not cold. But let's just do the first sip. This is uh, aloe mint. Tastes like aloe and mint. A lot of the seltzers taste like metal to me. Um, but this is really interesting. I'm sure this would taste even better cold, but yeah, uh, I'm all for anything coming out of 1414. So I appreciate it, Mexi brand. Uh, yeah, I'll, let's, let's do some cocktails together. This one's from Macy's. I don't think Macy's sent me anything, but I'm gonna open it anyway. Uh, Cause I forgot what I bought from Macy's. That was not safe. I got some boots from Mexico, because if you're gonna go to Mexico, you need some boots. Now, where to put my knife? Ugh, found it. Um, this one is from Marcos Ochoa. Oh, I think I know what this is. I think I remember that name. I think I know what this is. I wait. <laughs> my mom is my bad. That was a. I think I need to do a better deal, better job with these knives. <laughs> That's some legit packaging right there. Ugh. Ugh. Cool. Man, recognize that bottle. I wait. So this was from. Uh, you know, one of my followers on Instagram, he had a bottle of the single barrel uh, Reposado and he hooked me up with it. I mentioned before that I had never, as much as I love Fortaleza, as much as I talk about Fortaleza, I've never tried any of their single barrels. So he was kind enough to send me a bottle of the single barrels and I can't thank you enough, appreciate it, thank you so much. I'm gonna tag you down here as well on his Instagram, I guess. Yes, can't wait to try that. So this one is from, uh, there's no name, but, it's addressed to me, so let's open it. I need to get a better knife. Is anybody out there with some knife, <laughs> male opening knife recommendations? Uh, hit me up, because clearly I need help in that. Okay, we got some crinkle paper on this one too already. And over here, some black crinkle paper, it's fancy. Oh, hell yes. Been excited about this. I forgot that we uh, talked about this. Uh, Montagave. Montagave? So this is a bottle that's kind of like taking the connoisseur world by storm as anything that comes out of the Cascawing distillery does. Like Wild Common, of course, Cascawing. There's other great tequilas coming from that distillery. Uh, Chava, Rosales, anything he puts his hands on is gonna be great. They make one of my top five tequilas ever, like the Siembra, the Siembra Valles Ancestral and the Cascawing Cero de Luz. So this one is the new tequila coming from them. It's technically a Blanco, uh, but it is rested rather in a Bordeaux barrel. So that's why it has that, that pinkish hue to it. I know there's other tequilas out there in the market today that are have been aged in wine barrels, uh, but none of them are, um, I don't know, let's say, you know, there's one that's a celebrity tequila. I'm gonna pass that. Uh, Codigo is the other one, which is additive free. I just don't really like their prices, uh, if I can say that. But I'm super excited to try this. So yeah, appreciate this. Look out for a video on this one. Anything again coming from Cascawing is gonna be awesome. So I've been really excited to try Montagave, and I really appreciate it. So thank you. Um, this one is from. Uh, I'm not sure either. Um, yeah, a lot of these are like, you know, 
don't have the name of the brand or whatever that's sending this to me, but seriously, I need a better knife. Ah, it's not safe. This is tightly packed and it's heavy too. Mm. Alrighty. Oh, Don Nacho. So I'm gonna be honest, I haven't had Don Nacho. Um, yeah, have you guys had Don Nacho before? Got a little like product page, you know, with all the info on their bottles and their tequilas, how it's made and all that kind of stuff. So we got ourselves a Lanco and an Añejo. The nom number is 1508. I gotta do some research about that. Yeah, looks cool. Love the bottle, old school bottle. Uh, got some agave details on the front right here, on the sides right here rather. And then we have the uh, Añejo, which, let's see how it's aged. Uh, an exquisite blend of pungent spices and sweet tones exalt the senses, taking them to an ecstasy of flavors, aromas, and colors evoking endless emotions. That sounds like fun. Its pale amber color recalls a time it's aged silently and cast made out of white American oak. So American oak, uh, sensuous to see and pleasant to taste. It's the cognac of tequila. That sounds sexy. Cool, and there's like some cocktails, uh, recipes, or something like that. Um, the cognac of tequila. So I got this on the mail too, which was really cool. This is from Sonora. This, this is from Brian Orozco, uh, who is one of the most knowledgeable guys in all things uh, mezcal that includes tequila and bacanora. He's from Sonora where they make bacanora. Dude is just like an encyclopedia and it's like almost intimidating to hang out with him because he just knows so much. And it's exciting because I just want to sit there and listen to him talk. Uh, and if you think I'm passionate in any capacity about these agave spirits, Brian is on a whole other level. Um, he sent me this, which was really cool. So he sent me these two uh, bacanoras. Bacanoras are essentially a mezcal from the state of Sonora. Can't wait to try these as well. I just wanted to like give a shout out to uh, Brian. This is Chile Tepines, uh, which is endemic to Sonora. They actually have a domination of origin for these chiles. And you're supposed to crush these and then just put a little bit of powder on your food. It's supposed to taste amazing. But yeah, go follow Brian because he's awesome and he sent me this and I wanted to give him a shout out. But yeah, I think that's it guys. Uh, again, if any brands out there would like to uh, uh, send me this. I'm gonna try to make something like this. Like, you know, a, I don't know, bi-weekly thing. Depends on how on how many boxes I get. Um, so we can make a, a, this opening kind of thing. And I think that'll be really fun. Um, you know, there's a lot of tequilas that I'm getting that I'm not a huge fan of. So I'll at least open here and show you guys. And of course, I'll always be 100% honest of what I think. And that's what I always want my content to be. So if you are a brand and you wanna send me something, uh, just, you know, my email's right there and we can get to talking and all that. So this is my first one. It's still a little bit weird that I'm doing an unboxing thing, but it's always just a privilege too and I appreciate everybody watching and as always comment like share subscribe all that kind of stuff because that's how it helps me follow me on my TikTok and my Instagram I'm gonna really really try to focus a little bit more on YouTube and put more videos like distillery tours trips to Mexico vlogs unboxing and all that so please subscribe to my channel if you have any questions slide in my DMs and I like to answer as many questions as I can Salucita and I'll see you on the next one It's actually pretty good stuff.